your shoulder blades need to be able to walk too. So that's alternating reciprocal movement, committing to one side, transitioning through neutral, committing to the other side. So give this a try. Number one, can you isolate full, complete shoulder blade movement without your neck moving, without your ribs popping when you pull them back? This is a shoulder blade car. Active rotational movement through the outer limit of a joint's range. We should do this for every one of our joints every day. Number two, can you move them in opposite directions. Number three, let's bring in the rib cage. Take your hands, press them through your hips, ground yourself. And then when you pull one shoulder blade down and back, rotate your rib cage that way, close down your rib cage on that side, open the other side. Transition through neutral, commit to the other side. Rotate towards that side, Close down the ribcage on that side, open the other. Because of the left AIC pattern, this is gonna be the position that's usually harder to get. Hi there, I'm Michelle from Movement 101. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you would like more content like this, go down to the first link in the description below. And of course, to get this information out there, it does help to click like, hit subscribe and make a comment. And let's make sure your body is built to last. Thanks for watching.